Hello my students. Good day. So in this video instructional materials, I will be discussing interest and time value of money. So this is a two series video. The first will discuss simple interest and part two will be compound interest. What are interest? So interest is the payment paid by the debtor for the use of borrowed capital or money. It is added to the principal, which is the borrowed money upon payment of the debtor at the end of the term or the period of loan. So what is the mathematical formula for interest? It is equal to P and I. So P is the principal, the amount of money borrowed. N is the term of loan, would be the number of years, number of months. I is the interest rate per annum expressed in percent. Example, 12%, 6.5%, 9%. NF is the future amount or the final amount mathematically is equal to the interest plus principal. So this is the amount that the borrower will have to pay at the end of the term. So solving it algebraically, substituting P as P and I, we will be arriving at this formula that f is equal to p times the quantity 1 plus n i so in financial transaction that involves borrowing of money there are two key players that is the debtor and creditor if we want to analyze more what is the impact on it, the, of the interest in the point of view of the debtor and the creditor. So for the debtor, he sees interest as an expense because he have to pay it at the end of the term of the loan and therefore he wants to minimize it. And from the perspective of the creditor who lends the money, he wants to maximize the income or the interest income. Therefore, when you are analyzing problems in interest, you should know at least where that point of view would you want to consider yourself to have a better analysis of the problem. It would be either the debtor or you are the creditor. So interest could be simple and compounded. For simple interest, it could be ordinary and exact. So simple interest could be exact and ordinary. What are the considerations for exact interest? So for exact interest, you count the number the exact number of days that considers that there are 365 days per year and if it is a leap year 366 days for ordinary it considers that there are 360 days in a year therefore 30 days per month or 12 months per year
So let us have some samples on the computation of interest. So for our example, what is the ordinary and exact interest on $1,000 borrowed at 4.5% from September 22, 2020 to December 2021? How much is the future amount? So I have here the table first to compute for the days considered in the loan. So first for the exact, so this column, so year 2020, so September 30 minus 22, there are only 30 days in September, minus 22, the date of loan, but one day will start. The count for one day will start at 23. So that will be 30 minus 23, 22 E. So October, you have 31. We are counting the exact number of days. November, you have 30. December, 31. And 2021, 365 days. So there is there are a total of 465 days. Now, for ordinary, September, so we have the same, 8. So, ordinary, October to no, December, 3 months. So, 3 times 30, 90 days. And 2021, you consider it as 360. So, that is 458 days. So, we will be applying this computation of days in the computation of interest so i exact exact interest so we apply the formula p and i so one thousand dollar is the principal our term is 465 days all over that there are 365 days per year and the rate of interest is 4.5% per year per annum. So you get 4.5% divided by 100%. That would give you 0 0.045. So our answer is $57.33. So to get for the future amount, you add up the interest to the principal. You get $1,057.33. Now, for ordinary interest, same formula. So have, you have $1,000 divided, uh, multiplied by the quantity. 458 days observe this 360 days per year because it is ordinary that is the consideration so times 4.5 percent so that would give us an interest of 57.25 dollars and to get the Future value of the loan, we get $1,057.25. Now, at this point, I want to ask, to ask you which one is better, exact interest or ordinary interest. So, from here, we observe that exact interest is greater than ordinary interest. But again, but again, it is the manner, it is on the consideration of the two players, creditor and debtor, which one which computation would be applied? 
the consideration of the interest rate is dependent upon what is the prevailing commercial rate in the present economy of a particular say country. So that law or that prevailing rate should be considered in the agreement between the debtor and creditor. One example, how much interest will 50,000 earn in a period of 15 months at 7.5% interest rate. So applying the formula, sorry, J, so we saw the interest equal to 4,675 pesos and 50 centavos. Okay, another example. Engineer X borrowed 10,000 100,000 from a financing firm at 12% interest rate for two years. How much will be the interest payment compute for the future amount of loan at the end of term? Again, applying the formula, we get 24,000. And solving for the future amount F using the formula. Yes, so you get 124,000 checking I is equals to future amount minus the principal that give you 24,000. Another example, in how many years will 300,000 amounted to 400,000? at 16% interest rate. Applying the formula, there you are, you get N is equals to 2.08 years. Okay, plus the would be for simple interest. Thank you, God bless. And for those who have uh, reached by the, this video instructional materials, please you may subscribe on my channel. Thank you. God bless you too.